This is a lot of influence from Demetrius Johnson. I was going to say, Drake, top hand. it's very Demetrius-esque, isn't it? Yeah, he's been a long time. He's been like six years um, training with DJ out there at AMC. And uh, you can see the influence, especially that side control. The way he attacks that Kimura easily takes the back. I think if he can just get the angle right, he can either ground and pound him out by flattening him out, or he could look for that rear naked choke. I think the easiest route is going to be the ground and pound. If he just starts to tee off right here, the referee's going to be forced to jump in and stop it. I hear those punches to the side of the head of Yang as TJ just cautioned him on the back of the head. Saying that's a yellow card or an accidental DQ here. Oh, he's the impact of that one. He is. He's taking his time, picking his shots. He's aiming. You can see that. He's taking, got him in his scope, picking his shots very carefully. And that patience, Dragon, is also Bibiano. It's another training partner of his, Bibiano Fernandez. Yeah, Bibiano regularly makes that trip down from Canada to AMC up there in Kirkland, Washington. Defend yourself, Blue. Uh, they really defend put yourself. a lot of work with Yang. Defend yourself, Blue. There's that ground and pound. Blue, defend yourself. Impact the and that'll do it, says Justin Brown. James Yang wins by a second round. Look at this, this ground and pound. Get that mount position and just starts teeing off on it. Didn't empty the gas tank, just slowly started to pick him apart, built the volume as he went. Good control, good top game. I'm looking forward to seeing more of James Yang. James Yang! Highly impressive. A flawless performance on... He's got to be a little bit more sound and a little bit more careful not to make these kind of mistakes. Because right now he's got uh, basically three-quarter mount for Buchecha. You can see how he has a little bit of a half guard right there on one side. It's basically just a full mount for Buchecha. He's calm, he's composed, he's not rushing anything. This is what I wanted to see. I want to see how he utilizes the ground and pound for his BJJ game. He's got such good control. Step over there into side control. I like the way he used his right arm to block the leg. So Silva couldn't try to get back into half bar, but now he's in north south. Look at the trajectory on these knees. He is getting airborne with those right knees to the side of the head and the collarbone of Anderson Silva. Now switches to the other side. Yeah. 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 Looks like he could be going for a north-south choke. He's going to drive his right side, his pec and his lat into the neck of... He's got one arm. Catch. That might be it. Is Anderson Silva going to tap out? Says no. It's a hard choke to get. He gave the Hulk Hogan finger away. Not, not yet. Not tapping out yet. Not going to sleep. Two minutes, ten remaining. It's a long time to survive on the ground with Marcus Almeida. And now we tap. That's good night, Irene. Borchecha victorious in one championship. Wow, north-south choke. You don't see that very often inside mixed martial arts, but that was nicely done. Once he got that control, you could see the way that he had the north-south position locked up. He had the head over, he had the arm over the head, and he slowly started to apply pressure. You could see Silva shook the finger, said he was okay, but the squeeze just kept coming, and eventually he got that tap. Great performance, took zero damage from Chencha. Well, he did predict a first round submission. He said armbar, but we'll take a north south choke from Chencha. Great sportsmanship, that Bushido martial arts code of honor. And Chencha, delirious on debut in one championship. Nice little double leg. We spoke about this earlier. He's got a beautiful double leg takedown. He reaped the outside leg. And then he started dropping those knees to the head of Silva. And this is what I was excited to see. I really wanted to see how he utilized ground and pound. And then there's that north-south choke. Has both hands clasped around the head. Starts to drop his weight into the neck. Gets that squeeze going on. And that was it. Great debut. Marcus 
Checha Almeida. The limited crowd inside the Singapore Eagle Stadium loving every moment of this debutant performance. Let's go to Tom Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Justin Brown, has called a stop to this contest after two minutes and 55 seconds in the first round. For your winner, by way of North South Talk, Marcus Ushisha Almeida! Ushisha, impressive indeed. The hands. You gotta be careful though. Good movement from a, coming from Ali Akbari. Nice right hand landed by Malikin though. Curling the leather, swapping into the jaw of Ali Akbari. Malikin choosing his shots wisely. Uppercut landed off the left hand. Malikin's gotta be careful because you see how he's dropping that lead hand? That left hand's coming really low after a punching sequence. Ali Akbari getting touched on the beard early though. Straight left down the corridor there from Malikin. Nice left hand again. Backs up the big fella from Iran. Overhand right there from Malikin. Power coming from Malikin though. Ali Akbari has good head movement. He's got very strong boxing. He knows what to do out there. He just got caught by Kanji Wong the last time. Oh, he got caught again! He got caught again! He got caught again! An overhand right drops Amir Ali Akbari. Oh, how about this from Malikin? Back up to the feet, but he got tagged a beauty drag. Yeah, Malikin might want to separate here and keep the hands going. Because Malikin does not seem to be hurt by or phased by uh, Ali Akbari's shots, but he's doing real damage now with the knees. That was an absolute harpoon of an overhand right. Knees to the head of the ground that opponents are legal if Malikin wants to throw them. And he does. Ali Akbari needs to separate here because these knees are taking a toll on him. Look at that front headlock position from Anatoly Malikin. Such power coming from that lock and then those hips. Ali Akbari's chin has been exposed in one championship in his short career here so far. Malikin might want to separate here. I think he's doing good work on the feet. I'd like to see him go back to the boxing. Man, how strong is this guy? This guy, <laughs> this... Uh, Amir Ali Akbar is a world champion level wrestler and there's no place he can go because of this grip that Malikin's got on his head. Good head and arm control right here from Mal Anatoly Malikin. Malikin doing everything right with 2.35 remaining in the first, set for three by five. And now back to that distancing for the strikes. And Anatoly Malikin fine range with that overhand right again, that headache maker. And there Ali Akbar gets one back of his own. Two punch combo from Malikin. It's okay to exchange like that in the pocket because he trusts his chin going to the body as well. Hitch, you said that Ali Akbari has head movement. I don't see it. Well, he had it. Now it's gone because I think he's tired. Look at him. He's oh, he's getting lit up again. He gets dropped. The big kibosh. Malikin. This overhand right time to perfection on what they call the button. The big man. There's the detonation. Boom with the left hook. Down goes Ali Akbari, no more. It's going to be replayed countless times. Oh, my goodness. The winner, by way of Blackout, of Pressure, trying to get a mount again, perhaps. What you looking for here, Dragon? She's just trying to go to full mount. So she's doing a good job of keeping that half guard. I like how, she, how she's digging the underhook on her left side. That's a smart position, but Catch. what might happen is she might get a guillotine here from the top. I think she's got that arm under the neck. She might angle herself out. This might be a wrap. And Victoria Lee making three finishes in a row. She's working on it. Souza surviving, however. And Lee's gonna soften her up a little more, Dragon. She doesn't quite have it, but there might be a Darce choke right here, or an Anaconda. You can see where she's trying to enter in that arm. You know, Victoria Lee's keeping the underhook, and that's giving her up. A great job by Souza to get back up to her feet, Mike. The resilience of Victoria Souza, the undefeated Brazilian, with 150 remaining, second round of three. As I said earlier, no one before this had been past seven minutes with Victoria Lee. 
Souza has done so thus far. Could she drag Lee into a position leads to the medium two? That's the third round. But look at this from Victoria Lee. Still trying to find a finish. She had that anaconda grip and she reaped the outside leg and put Souza down. I think there might be a mounted guillotine right here. Yeah, you can see the way she's cranking on the head. But Souza knows what she's doing. She fought the hands, got rid of the choke. Souza's well skilled. She's doing everything right on the ground. She's getting a little now. Oh, side of the head exposed, and here come those axe like elbows again. Just above the ear of Victoria Souza. And now the bridge of the nose and curls the knuckles in just above the right eye. Referee says no more. Victoria, victorious in Singapore again. The 3 0 for Victoria Lee. He was just one step ahead. She knew what Soja wanted to do, and she was able to out-control her and out-move her. The way that she had that arm... Hey, Mr. Justin Brown has pulled us up to this contest after 3 minutes and 58 seconds in the second round. For your winner, by way of technical knockout, Victoria! From the nice release. This could just be a super serious matchup because these guys are banging with each other. And Yen's chopping that leg up already. One way to slow down the punching power of your opponent is to take out their legs because every good punch starts at the bottom of the feet and travels up the body before exiting through the knuckles. I like the timing of that right hand thrown by Kim. He needs to do that. Every time Martin throws that leg kick, Kim needs to fire that right hand right down the middle. That's what Martin does. He slowly backs you up, he figures out your timing, pins you against that wall, and then starts unloading on you. Good head movement there from Martin Nguyen. Spent his time between his home in Sydney, Australia, and of course at Sanford MMA in Florida. Just dogs there at Kim, and nice head movement again, gets out of trouble, does Martin Nguyen. Circles up clockwise. Checks the low kick, does Kim. And Kim's built confidence with that right hand. He backed Martin off. Martin was pushing forward, had him up against the wall, and one clean right hand landed from Kim. Martin retreated, regrouped. Now he's pushing forward again. Jab two, and the two rock the draw momentarily of the fighting god. Tan Lee set to defend the featherweight championship of the world at 1x on December 5. Oh, Smackdown Martin got caught! The fighting god caught him! My word! My word! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? It was that right hand, Michael. He landed it twice. He set it up. He found his range with it. And then bingo! Right on the button. That right hand is dangerous. Kim J. Woo just changed his life, Michael. Dragon, you call it. The right hand of the fighting guard. And he says he wants the belt. And he has just catapulted himself up the rankings. The number five just knocked out the number one. Take a look at this again, Dragon. Yeah, that was beautifully done. Look at that. Martin came in. He overextended. He tried to wind up the big right hand. And then Kim just came. Look at that. You can see Martin Nguyen cocked and ready to unload. And Kim came with the short, clean little right. Jumped on top. Finished with a grounded pound. Wow. Incredible scenes here in Singapore. Martin Nguyen was astral traveling. Hust has pulled a stop to this contest after three minutes and 15 seconds in the first round. For your winner, by way of knockout, Kim J. Kim J. Wong. I representing the Get ready for the reigning and defending undisputed one strawweight champion of the world, Joshua, the Passion Passion.
defend yourself at all times. Do not strike the back of the head. Let's wash the low blows. Touch gloves and back up. It's Friday, September 24, 2021 at 9.58 p.m. in Singapore. The strawweight championship of the world for five rounds or less. The world champion versus the number one contender. And one. Let's go. And Yasuka Suruta says he will come out so aggressively that Pasho won't know what hit him. Suruta in the green, Pasho in the always red. Fakes early here from Saruta, who looks absolutely ripped, stripped, and striated tonight, Dragon. Yeah, Saruta always comes in great shape, but this is some of the best condition I've ever seen him in. He's going forward, nice little left high kick landed there by Pashiao. Saruta's got to be careful. Tell me. Still to come, Capitan against Mehdi Zatu. And also, of course, the big one, the main event. Christian Lee defends the lightweight championship of the world against Ogreyun. Even though the closeness, the distance that he's competing at, Suta's got a great reaction time. He's moving out well, avoiding some of the shots of the passion. Saruta, arms turned outwards. More of a Muay Thai stance there. Taps his thigh, almost eats a right hand, skips away on the balls of his feet, eats that outside thigh kick. Nicely placed from Pascio. That knockout of Saruta in 2019 was named the knockout of the year. Pascio has defended the title twice more since then. Oh, the left hand! Stunts him in another one! In a third and a fourth, the fifth and sixth, it's over! Pascio does it again! The champ retains! It all started with that lazy leg kick, Michael. He threw it out there. He didn't bring it. He didn't come back with anything. Pascal capitalized on that opening and really just punctuated the trilogy matchup. What a way to end the rubber match, Michael. What an absolute inspiration. 25 years old. The child who was obese at the age of 10 when he weighed 69 kilos maintains the world championship still the strawweight king joshua pasho and he lit up saruta with a barrage of punches absolutely nailed him yeah that was beautiful i think he saw it too you can see he threw the leg kick didn't have anything to set it up or behind it and the passion went all over him hit him with three clean left hands and then followed up with three clean left hands more look at that boom right there with the right hand sits him down then goes after him with one left hand and then boom there's the second one that crumbled him and then the third fourth and fifth one finished him off what a performance from the passion joshua pasha you do not want to stand with this young man unbelievable the philippines still have a world champion his name is joshua pasha and now, ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Justin Brown, has called us up to this contest after three minutes and 38 seconds in the first round. For your winner, by way of technical knockout, and still the undisputed one strawweight champion of the world, Joshua. I dare say there will not be a fourth match. The reign of God.